Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a table in LibreOffice Writer. So first of all, go to the table menu and then click on insert table. And there it will ask you for the table name. You can enter it as, uh, let's say, employees table. It can be anything. So you can uh, name it as per your requirement. But here we are just, uh, we are just, here we are just uh, using employees as the name of the table and then how many columns do you want in that table so let's say we want three columns and five rows so now we will be having a new table called uh, employees with three columns and five rows and do you want the heading uh, in that um, sure we would like that and uh, yeah just click on insert and a new table is created with the uh, three columns. So this is column one, this is column two, this is column three. And uh, this is row one, this is row two, this is row three, this is row four, and this is row five. And here you can enter the headings as per your requirement. So here, let's say we want uh, this uh, heading of this uh, column to be serial number, and then this can be employee name. And then the, the next one can be location so here we are having um, the names of the columns and you can also shade this so whenever you will have that table you will see a menu bar in towards the bottom which will have various options so here we are just uh, uh, adding a background color to the table so it can be let's say greenish so yeah it looks pretty nice this way and here we are just uh, entering uh, the serial numbers and here we would uh, populate uh, some values so let's say this can be john this can be mac this can be gaurav this can be ron and then location can be new york mumbai delhi and let's say Singapore. So now we have populated the data in the table as well. And let's say we want to align this data, then uh, what we can do is we can just uh, go here towards the top. Here we will see this align center. So let's try that. And as you can see now the data is aligned towards the center. So this is how you create a table. You add background to uh, the uh, row and then you enter the values to populate the table and then you uh, align the text or the contents of the cells as per your requirement. So it can be left aligned, it can be center aligned, it can be right aligned depending on your requirement. Now we will learn how to add a new row in the table. So we already have the table but we want to add or insert a new row so we have two options for that so if you right click anywhere wherever you want to add that uh, new row you will see this kind of uh, window so here you will see the option of insert and there you will see rows above rows below so if you want to insert a row in between three and four then uh, you will just uh, select this option so now you can see that we are having a new row between three and four and uh, if you want to insert one row after this this um, row then you can just right click and then insert and then click on rows below so now we are having a new row which is below the four uh, the four uh, row so here we can just uh, re a number. So now let's add a value. It can be Mayank. Location can be, let's say, New Delhi. And then Kate. Location can be London. Now, if you want to insert a new column in between employee name and location so if you'll right click over here you will see the various options 
so just go to insert and there you will see this option of columns after so that would add a new column in between employee name and location and here you can name it as uh, let's say supervisor and supervisor could be let's say kush so you can just populate the entire table with the same value for example but if you want to change it you can now if you want to delete a particular column then right click on that particular column and then go to delete and there you will see this option of delete columns and by choosing that option that particular column where the focus was will be deleted if you want to delete a row let's say we want to delete this row so then right click and then go to delete and then delete rows if you want to delete multiple rows then select multiple rows and then right click and then delete and then delete rows so this is how you create a table you add rows you add columns remove rows and remove columns so we have covered every aspect of uh, how to manage a table in library office writer so hopefully this tutorial will help you uh, in creating tables for your work or for your any assignment that you may have thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled